guys and welcome back to my channel i am jasmine dominique and today i'm doing my very 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 first my very first leggings try on haul for you guys and i'm super excited to do a review i've actually been putting this off for months so like i'm glad that the time is here and like then i'm finally getting this out and i'm finally doing it so yeah today we are doing a amazon try on haul these leggings are all under 25 dollars like I don't know about you, but like I love Lululemon as much as the next person, but I don't always want to have to spend 80, 90, 100 plus dollars on a pair of leggings if I don't have to. So I purchased four different pair of leggings from Amazon. I have tried this out for you guys. I'm giving my honest opinion of them. Um, so it's some good here. It's some great. It's some okay. And it's some not okay. All right. Nothing is worse than buying leggings and then realizing I don't even, I don't even like these. I don't even like them. And then you can't even take them back. Well, I mean, sometimes you can, just depends. So first up, we have Colorful Koala. Colorful Koala? Koala? Okay. In olive green, which I absolutely love. I love, love, love green. And these are in a size medium that I wore. The only logo, or they don't have any logo on them. They just have this branded portion here. So there's no kind of itchy, itchy. There's no kind of itchy um, like tag or anything. It is tagless. Now these are a 28 inseam. So they're pretty lengthy, which I love. Um, they do fit true to size. Now these guys, these are super, super buttery. Like I absolutely love the way these fit, the way they went on. They, they glided onto my body pretty much. They feel like butter. So they got that part right. The band is, I would say like a medium compression where it's not super tight, where it's like just uncomfortable. It's not super tight where I feel stuffed. It was a compression where I felt good. Like I felt like I was being held correctly enough. It was like the perfect amount. There is a hidden, where is it? Here it is, a hidden pocket in the waistband. These are extremely, extremely high, high waisted. Like these, look at these suckers extremely high high rise now when it comes to the squat proofness i would give these probably like a 85 percent um out of 100 i wore black underwear in my videos just to kind of help see like i don't know if you guys can see i would recommend thong i would recommend um no undies or yeah probably that like these aren't bad at all like these these are pretty good i'll give them like an 85 out of 100 as far as squat proofness goes now sweat proof something that will be a like running theme throughout all of my try on haul videos is guys i sweat like i sweat so much when i work out and so i'm just not going to be your person who can tell you that a pair of leggings are sweat proof because i've not found one pair of leggings in my life yet that are sweat proof when i do i promise you i will share these do however stay in place when i squat i don't have any issue with them rolling down i do have the occasional just like hiking them up because like they're high waisted so like they may slide down just a teeny bit but no rolling down also no camel toe i felt very comfortable in these these are solid i would give these a a nine out of ten these are gonna 9 out of 10 for me. Like, I really like the way these held me. They come in a variety of, co of colors. There were like an endless amount of colors to get in these. So, yay, colorful koala. And they also koala, colorful koala. I can't say it right. But they, of course, have their own store as well. I wouldn't mind from Amazon. All right, ladies, next up, we have these Sunzel leggings okay sunzel and these also got in a medium these are true to size as well they come in a gray color here the names on a lot of these leggings are truly basic but this is called gray um that that's pretty much all they are of course high-waisted as you can see 
the compression on these in my opinion are very much so like the olive green ones it's like enough compression but not too much it's not too loose like it's if i wanted compression these this and the green ones would be the uh compression that i would actually like want so like they did great there now my only issue is when i did try these on i poked a hole in them what are the hole? I can't find the hole at the moment, but because I do have nails and they are almond shaped, so they're kind of pointy, I did poke a tiny hole in them. Otherwise, I really, really like them. These are also buttery, not as buttery as the last one. I get more of a brush feeling, but they feel super, super soft on the skin. These do not have a visible um, logo either. You just have the tagless tag right here. There is also a hidden uh, pocket in the waistband here as well for like a house key or something or a debit card or something that you can just slide in here on the waistbands. Uh, these as far as swap proof I would give them about an 85 less than the green pair. These are a little bit more see-through when I did my squat test with them on. However they did stay up on me again just the occasional pulling up because like they are high waisted but they did not roll down at all throughout my workout. Once again sweat came through these are a 28 uh inseam as well so they're pretty lengthy on me which i personally love longer leggings i didn't experience any camel toe in these as well which was awesome these also came in a variety of colors as well so there are plenty to choose from i give these an eight and a half out of ten only because i poked a hole like what's up with that um but yeah otherwise like they're amazing i really really approve of these Okay, do y'all remember when I said there were some good ones, there were some great ones, and there was like some okay ones, and there was like some nah? Here is the nah, okay? Yes, I'm still gonna go over because I tried these out for you guys. Um, these are Afne, A-F-I-T-N-E. Uh, the color here, at least they got a little fancy with the color, it is bean paste, okay? This is bean paste if you're ever looking for it. This is what bean paste look like. These do, in fact, have pockets, which... I do like to a certain extent. I don't need pockets anymore. I used to love, love, love pockets, but if you're someone who does, these are great. Um, the waistband is not super high. It is high waisted, but it's not as high as the previous two pair. And then this one also has a pocket as well in the um, waistbands. Now these are also shorter than the rest. It did not specify the inseam, but I can tell by having them on that they weren't super full length like i uh, prefer they do have a front seam all of the leggings i'm discussing today have a front seam there's no visible logo with these leggings either and because the waistband here is like double layered which i personally don't like because it makes me look a lot plumper like it really it really expands my midsection like it adds on to it so then I look super bulky in my midsection um, but it does keep the leggings from rolling down from moving down pretty much at all like these really stay in place but I don't I don't like to have that bulge uh, which you'll probably see in the video but I hate I, I hate that portion of it um, when it comes to squat proof I give these pretty much a 9.5 out of 10 because they are a thicker material than the rest they're not as buttery either as the previous pair but they do hide a lot of color when it comes to squat proof i did in fact have a camel toe with these but like camel toes are just given it's like okay and they do come in a variety of colors as well um and if i want to be honest these suckers are getting a 5 out of 10 from me it's just like I wish I could kind of unbuy these. I wish I could unwear these and unsee these just because I don't think they're flattering. I didn't like I don't like the double layered waistband. I don't like the length of them. That's pretty much my beef here. That's my beef with these. But yeah, if you're someone who doesn't who don't mind a thicker waistband and a little bit more compression, because these are higher in compression, then like these might be the leggings for you. Last guys, last but certainly not least, if anything. I should have did these first because these are my absolute favorite like it's like I think if heaven felt like something it might feel like these leggings like I absolutely love them here we are with the low the yoga licious luxe leggings okay ladies say with me yoga licious luxe 
leggings. Look at this color. Can we get into this color? It's so, so beautiful. And you've probably seen me even wear these a few times, like on Instagram, or I think I have a clip of them in another uh, thumbnail. I absolutely love these. I first found uh, Yogalicious at TJ Maxx. I found their shorts and I absolutely love them. And then I came across this brand on Amazon as well. And again, they have their own website. Purchased mine from um, Amazon, but I absolutely love these guys. Love, love, love these. This color is considered Tuscan Teal. Okay, they're currently sold out of this color. Um, it's the, the colors that they offer are very limited. It was maybe like five or six to choose from, unfortunately, but I love these. These are super thick. Now, I'm not gonna give them a 10 out of 10 for squat proof. They're still gonna be around the nine area, but, but because they're darker, you don't see as much and yeah, you don't see as much. And I'm gonna give them like a 90% out of 100, in my opinion. The waist is high. It's not as high as the first two pair, but it is very, very close. These are very high waisted. The compression is perfect. It's not too tight. It, it's giving, it's giving, it's serving. Hugs you in all the right places. Feels like, they feel like butter on your body. These are my first favorite pair of color leggings. Like these sold me. I, I love these. There is a logo. It is very minimal. It's just right here. Boop. That's it. So it's not doing too much at all. These are a 25 inseam, which I'm very surprised because they come very long on me. Not very long, but like the length is really good. Um, I actually really like these. The length that it is. So yeah. I also have a standard camel toe in these as well, which I am fine with. Um, because of the front seam, you know, no itchy tag on the inside at all. Just has this Yogalicious right there. There are no pockets on the waistband, which I'm perfectly okay with. These are also in a medium and they are true to size as well. They have great stretch to them. I am going to give these guys a 9.75. These get a 9.75 because I absolutely freaking love them. I freaking love them. So yeah, love, love, love. All right, guys, that is it. That is my first uh, try on haul. I want to apologize for my braids being in the way everywhere throughout the videos. I did notice as I went into edit, it was super, super distracting. So I'll do a better job next time having my hair up so you guys can get a full 360 of what the leggings really look like on. But I thank you for watching. I have tons of other legging U-Hauls, U -hauls, other legging hauls on the way. I spent way too much money over Black Friday and prior to Black Friday on leggings, but I wanted to be able to share with you guys the good, the bad, and the ugly of the leggings world without you having to test them out yourself. So until next time, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you soon. Doesn't matter.